Hello everyone, my name is Tim Brown. Welcome back to my Apple Podcast, the podcast that makes a personal connection to everything Apple. Today I want to review a video editor for iOS. It's called Luma Fusion by Luma Touch. Luma Fusion is arguably the best video editor for iOS. The application comes with a ton of features, so let me walk you through each one. Let's start with projects and settings. To begin, press the plus symbol in the bottom left corner. Type in the name of your project, select the frame rate, and aspect ratio. When you're done, click Create Project. Projects can be managed by taking advantage of the color tagging and notes features in the project panel. Next, let's go to the settings icon. Here you can set up your project and global settings which include background color, settings for audio ducking, and timing for photos and transitions. I recommend that you take time to do this before adding content. Also, familiarize yourself with the flexible layout feature in the top right corner. Here you can select multiple layouts to access content in different ways when the workflow demands it. Now let's go to the content section. Select the flower icon in the top left corner. Here you can access photos from your camera roll, music from your iTunes library, royalty free music which comes free with the app, titles and transitions. You can import content from cloud based services and other apps installed on your devices. For example, if you are working in an app like Pixelmator, you can use the iOS share option to copy your unique content to LumaFusion. Content can be added by dragging it to the timeline or selecting the down arrow in preview mode. Preview mode is very practical because you can queue up specific sections of your clips by selecting start and stop times, which enables you to add only the sections you want. You can also select the info icon to update metadata such as clip names, and notes. Let's make our way down to the timeline. The timeline below can take a maximum of three photo and or video tracks and three audio clips for a total of six tracks. Audio controls to the left enable you to manually control audio levels. Double tapping on audio tracks enable you to control ducking or to automate audio levels. Right beneath the audio controls you can also toggle overwrite modes to insert or add cutaway B footage directly into a track. The quick add feature offers quick access to voiceovers, transitions, blank clips, and titles. The scissor tool can split clips, while the clip toolbox enables you to clone objects, add presets, and access advanced editing controls. Finger gestures also speed up the process. As an alternative to the scissor tool, you can double tap with two fingers to split a clip, and triple tap to detach audio. For more subtle features, you can swipe the preview screen to incrementally scrub through your content or double tap to add content to the timeline. Let's check out the editing controls. In editing mode, a plethora of tools are at your disposal, including frame and fit to resize and reposition objects, speed and reverse for adjusting track speeds, and color and effects. The latter comes with adjustment tools for brightness and saturation, LUTs, for color variety, effects like vignettes and hatching, blur tools, and stylized effects like reflections and kaleidoscope. If you want to get fancy, you can import LUT sources from your cloud-based services. One of the most exciting features of LumaFusion is the ability to animate content and or add keyframes. For example, under the size and position tab, you can set keyframes to set the start and end times for when you want your object to change in position and scale. Keyframes can also be added to blending as well as color and effects. When you are ready to export your project, you can save as a movie file with a range of options for resolutions, frame rates, and video quality. You can also have the option to save as audio only, snapshots, or save the entire project file to your favorite cloud-based services. So, as you can see, LumaFusion is by far the best video editor for iOS. The editors plan to continue updating the app, including advanced features like chroma keying. My name is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of My Apple Podcast. You can check me out at myapplepodcast.com or youtube.com slash myapplepodcast.